We really cared about this so much that, I mean, it was every day we had engineers flying in here from Beijing to work with us, working with Dolby to really try to, to push all these things forward, but not only just push it forward so that it's in the device, but really do it the right way. My name is Allie Ent. I'm an industrial designer here at Lenovo. This right here is the Yoga C930. Uh, we started working on this about two and a half years ago. This is um, a dynamic 360 degree hinge. Lenovo was the first one to do this about six and a half years ago. So once it flips into tablet mode, you can see that it aligns perfectly on this front edge, same way that it does in notebook mode. And so it actually looks like it belongs that way and it makes it more comfortable to hold in your hand. Our design team from there um, decided to really try to push it and try to figure out why it was that people were buying these products. And so what we started doing was going to universities and libraries and cafes and finding people that had um, convertible notebooks and asking them why they bought that. You know, stand mode like this, they would use it whenever they're watching movies. But one of the things that we noticed was the sound is typically on our D cover, which is the bottom of the notebook. And so in this type of mode, the sound is gonna be hitting the back of the A cover. It's not coming towards the user. So we decided to really try to push this and put sound into the hinge. Now, this was an engineering feat. <laughs> um, I remember trying to um, talk through different types of available speakers on the market and it was gonna make the notebook really thick. And I'll never forget that moment that Dolby showed up here with a sound bar that I handed them and said, help, that they fit, not only fit speakers in there, but then created this sound stage that blew me away. And it was just pieces of plastic on either side of it, right? It wasn't a display, it wasn't a keyboard, but to hear that and to hear people walking around me, I realized that we actually created that experience. Not only that, they flipped it into tent mode, which you no longer have the display and the keyboard channeling the sound towards you. And so they flipped it into tent mode, and I was like, great, the sound's not gonna be as awesome now. And, because I assumed it's going straight up, but they tune it to go towards the display. And so the sound was just as good, if not better, in this mode. And so at that moment, I was completely blown away. They took it so much further than I thought it could go. So we're sitting in cafes, we're sitting in libraries, we're at universities, and almost everybody had tape over their camera. And so this was such a small thing. It's a, this tiny little piece of plastic, but it gives you that peace of mind where you don't have to put a sticker over this really tiny bezel at the top. If you can develop something where everyone's like, oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Like, you got it. That's a good one, right? And we're seeing students in the library that have pens in their backpack, they're trying to look for it, they want to take notes in a class, but they don't necessarily, they didn't remember to charge it. So, in the back, and this was an engineering feat as well, was trying to fit this small pen into the back of it. Not only does it store here, but it also charges here as well. So obviously we care about it, right? We put all of our effort into this and we love it, um, but to see it actually answer the needs, pain points, and desires of customers was a really cool experience. <laughs>